what's going on y'all welcome back to the garage so been a pretty uninteresting day there's like zero die cast uh, I try to save everything that I could find for this week and uh, yeah not much not much at all so uh, let's go ahead and get started y'all I'll show you what I found I did find some cool stuff and I found some interesting stuff sorry about the shaking Sorry about the shaking, you know, this is a shoddy ass garage, shoddy ass studio. I did say ass twice. Three times, technically. Uh, first one I did find was this one. Uh, I actually bought it because I just wanted the wheels off of it. But now that I'm looking at it, and I uh, kind of want to do a gas lens build on it. So, I'm still going to show the wheels, y'all. I need the wheels. <laughs> yeah. That, that's that. Ooh. I did find another one of these lavender Jurassic Fives, man. Oh my god. Love this car. Uh, these are hard to find, man. I don't know if there's a ton of customizers in my area. I've never met them. Uh, most of the people I meet at my work, is they are uh, basically... Uh, Oh, basically they're just looking for the good stuff. I'm not, I'm not gonna say that ugly S word. I'm not gonna say uh, not accuse anybody of anything, but yeah, they're basically looking for the good stuff. They're taking all the good cars, all the JDM, everything else. I did find one of these Mustangs, but only one. Uh, I love this silver. Wish it would have been a Zamac. I'm just saying. Kind of hurts my feelings, but. Again, I need it, so there it is. Uh, I found, and I have seen this one before, and I passed it up, but I finally found one of the blue ones of these 935s, and this is the old style. I'm thinking that's what I've been told this is the old style, but uh, I passed it up because, you know, uh, not really into Porsches, like that model of Porsches. But it's got a fin, y'all. So if it's got a fin, I'm in. I mean, I, I do have the black version. I do have the other color variant. So I finally found one of those. I was happy. I was just happy to find anything, y'all. <laughs> I did find another one of these, which I bought one already. And I showed y'all for my daughter. But in fact, I'm going to and open it up. Because uh, I have a plan. I have a plan months in the making. And in fact, I've had the parts stored away in a box for a couple of months already. This is a sweet little ride, though. Be better when it's all detailed up. You know, I, I got plans. I got plans, y'all. I got plans. I'm gonna put that right there. So, this whole, all the stuff I just showed you came from Walmart. All right. Here's the, here's the interesting part because my buddy, I was off of work. My buddy was uh, still at work, and I said, "Hey, man, dude, I know we got like a thousand pallets back there. Is there any way you can just go look and see if you see if there's any Hot Wheels? I mean, the pegs are empty. It looks like crap in that aisle. No one's zoning it. No one's." you know keeping up with it and he was like I was about to go to break I'm like yeah dude I know I said I understand but can you just please 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 go see if there's any Hot Wheels and he came back with a basic case right which I got all these out of and uh, it, he cut it open and he just dumped it in my shopping cart he dumped a whole box in my shopping cart and I was like, bro, I said, bro, thank you. I said, I'll go put these on the pegs, you know. I said, just thank you for going looking because I don't I don't work that stuff anymore. To my new position, I'm the new in-home delivery driver at Walmart. And uh, I spend all my time, if I'm not driving the van, I'm like picking stuff that y'all order online. And uh, so, yeah, no one's been working toys and he went and found me a case and he just dumped it. But this is the coolest part. 
when he dumped that case in my cart so I could go put it out. Check this out, y'all. A Target Red Edition in a Hot Wheels box. I mean, in a Walmart box. That freaking just blew my mind. Absolutely blew my mind. And uh, wow, yeah, yeah. So thank you, Thomas, bro. Appreciate you. Uh, appreciate you going and looking. I know you didn't want to. I know you want to go outside and smoke a cigarette. But man, uh, that was like it. The there was that was the only Target Red Edition in that box, which blew my mind. And I, I said, "Are you shitting me?" And he's like, "And then yes, I did say, are you shitting me?" Yes, I did. It's not made for kids, y'all. This is like a grown-up guy collecting Hot Wheels. So yeah, I'm gonna curse a little bit, just a little bit. And uh, he's like, man, well, what's special about it? I said, uh, it's a red edition. He's like, yeah. I'm like, yeah, it's only made for Target. So like, we have a Target box in a Walmart store, you know? And, but we got to look in and when I was putting things up, that was the only Target red car inside the entire box. So it was like an anomaly. Something happened at the warehouse, I don't know. That was the only one. And uh, I have a friend that wants it, and it's going to him because he ain't found it. So, uh, thank you, Walmart. Thank you, Thomas. Appreciate you, bro. I, I know I made your break late, but you know. And the only other thing in that box that I found, I did find the golden duck. Absolutely love it. I've been looking for it. So, for right now, put that right. Uh, boom I'm going to put the golden duck over there Woo! anyway y'all so this is my final you know one hour challenge build I got to complete it and uh, that's the one thing I, I didn't say in the video uh, the one hour challenge is basically to see how far you can get done and show us how far you got done in an hour Maybe you just got to a wheel spot. Maybe you just got to uh, blacking out everything. Maybe you just got to gluing parts on. That's okay. You don't have to be finished in an hour in the challenge. The, the challenge is to see how far you can push yourself to get things done. You know what I'm saying? And I push myself hard from drilling to tapping whatever. Y'all got an hour and a half. Uh, Weekend Warriors just dropped the video. Absolutely love it love where he went his his ideas in his head absolutely love it so thank you ed i love it um but you can keep building your car i just want you to challenge yourself to see how fast and how far you can get in an hour if you don't got wheels on it that's okay you got wheels on it you got no, no guns that's fine that's okay because that's where i was at but I'm giving you the chance to drill and tap before you start the, the timer. And I'm giving you an extra 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, y'all should be able to get some great, great, great content out. Please show me. I will try to share it with everybody else on YouTube. Get your channel name out there. Uh, this is what I came up with when I finally got a chance after, what, three days to sit down and do this. I got a day off. That I shouldn't have had, but I got it. But yeah, this is my little zombie killer, you know. No Z's right there on the on, on the sides. Pretty happy with it. Wish I had a Gatling gun, cause Gatling guns make me happy. <laughs> but I got two 30, you know, 30 millimeter grenade, you know, launchers, which I'm fine with that. Obviously, this plot has seen some action. It's dinged up sides are dinged up where they've been plowing through zombies so uh yeah son i'm pretty happy with this build i mean again the hour is just to challenge yourself i'm giving you an hour and a half you could probably finish the entire build in an hour and 15 minutes but the extra is just for you uh just i just want you to challenge yourself i did this in an hour and then what i didn't get done i just glued it you know jb wood a couple things on top and painted that and i'm done you know uh the challenge is to challenge yourself 
how fast can I do this? How fast can I go? And uh, Waking Warrior was the first video that I saw. I, I searched before I started this video. And thank you, Waking Warrior. Thank you, Ed. So, uh, yeah. So I think, as a thank you for being the first person, first person video that I saw, I'm gonna send this to you, buddy. I'm just gonna send this to you. It's a hunk of junk. <laughs> it's a hunk of junk, but it's a zombie slayer, and uh, you can use it for your zombie army, you know, to uh, slay those those nasty things. Anyway, y'all, that's all I got on that. I did want to say I did get a couple of things done, and I showed the video of these customs that did not turn out. This is my Hot Wheels uh, package right here. I showed y'all that. It looks crappy, but now I clear coated it, got it all snapped back together. Not bad. It's not bad at all. So, got that one done. Put that right here off to the side. Well, let's put it on this side right here. How about that? Got that one done. And this one here with the crinkled decals. Uh, once I got it clear coated, actually it looks pretty damn sweet. And I said, damn, yeah, it's not made for kids, y'all. This is Charles Diecast Rise. It's not made for kids, okay? So, yeah, I got this one finally done. Clear coat, clear coat came out fantastic, y'all. Of course, when the decals suck, the clear coat comes out fantastic. That's a lot of averages, man. I can guarantee you, Murphy's last name was Jones, just like mine. Because if anything can go wrong, it will go wrong in this garage. But that's okay because we grab ourselves by our bootstraps, pick ourselves up, and we march on. Yeah, this one turned out pretty damn sweet. And I said, damn, yes I did. Put that one right there. So, I'll show you those to say, just the things don't look right in the beginning, when you, when you put the decals on, what have you, they'll actually look good in the end. So, and, and this is another one. This one's been sitting on the back shelf for a while. I show you these things to tell you, don't give up, keep trying to do your hobby, number one. Number two, take some time and step back. I stepped back from this one and after a couple of weeks or, or a month, I looked at it again and said, you know what, it's not bad. So that being said, I want to tell you this. We passed 300 subscribers a week or so ago. We got more than 300 now, which I thank y'all all for sticking around and watching. Um, I noticed that I get a lot of views, but I don't get a lot of comments. And other people have mentioned that in the comments that, wow, you got 93 views or 83 views and you know 18 comments. I'm like, yeah, but it's okay because I'm not, about becoming a brand I'm not about becoming like a 4,000 subscriber guy I am just a guy you know and the people that I talk to that t comment on my video I comment back most of y'all I know on Instagram so we chat privately on Instagram that being said I do want to do something for reaching 300 because you guys are the reason that I have 300 subscribers and I wouldn't ever think that 300 people wanted to see what I was doing. So, and I'm gonna apologize right now to my international friends. What I'm about to say, I can't include y'all, but I thank y'all. Uh, I don't, bro, seriously, I don't have the money for drill bits right now. I don't have the money for the little Dremel, you know, steel disc to do anything with. So, uh, I can only ship in the, in like the local states, you know what I'm saying? I can only ship in the U.S. right now. And 
times counted that I will be able to ship internationally for any of these giveaways. So, I'm sorry. I love you. Thank you for your support. So I'm going to give you the option right now of picking one of these three cars. If I can get them on there all at the same time. I'm going to give away one of these three cars. Your choice. I won't give it I won't give them away before then. Your choice if you can guess my middle name. First name is Charles, last name Jones. So you make it happen. Guess my middle name. First person to guess it in the United States uh, will get your choice of one of these three cars. And uh, yeah, shipping's on me, son. If you're in the United States and you can guess my middle name correctly, first person to guess it gets a custom. How about that? And I'll probably throw in a couple of extra things because that, that's what I do. You know, I'm not just I'm gonna send spend postage on the same money for one car when I could send five or six. So yeah. So guess my middle name. First name Charles, last name Jones. And uh pick one of these three customs that's yours. And I'll throw in a couple of extra things in the package or the mailer so just so you I can justify the shipping. Alright? So that being said, let's get that out the way. I'm going to put these here so y'all can look at them. Okay. This so you can still see them in the background there. I was going through my boxes today because like I said, I broke all my drill bits. I uh, modded wire wheels. And uh, I was going through my boxes just looking for stuff. And I found something interesting. So if y'all remember the other day, I got that purple cheap bucket, which I answered, uh, came to me from a uh, Chris's Junker Designs. I actually had that same casting in a different color variant. Check this out. KB Toys, 99 cents, y'all. So I actually had one. I didn't know I had it, but I, I had the purple one. So I decided that we're gonna go ahead and open up the yellow one so I can put it next to my purple one that's open. Woo, look at that baby. Oh, she's sweet. Oh, she is absolutely sweet. Let's look at that up close. Wow, man. Wow, wow, wow. What year was this? Let's see, look at this. Oh man, look at the back of this car. It's all yellowed out. Uh, this was 1991. 1991, so 1991 was the year I was married, so this would have been a 92 release. Holy cow, man. So we're talking 30 years now. That thing's been sitting in a package. Looking as good as the day was made. Look at that. Glass is still pretty clear. Man, it looks a little yellow, but you know what? That could just be a reflection off the paint. Maybe not. It's old, man. It says old. It's old. Shoot. It's old. Man, she's looking good with them black walls. Oh, I'd love to run down a track someday. Holy cow. So I found that one. And I found this one I didn't know I had. Uh, also KB Toys. For a dollar nine. See, you're in this one. Oh dang! See that? 1991. Mattel made in Malaysia. Sorry, made in Malaysia. Lumina minivan. And a lot of these cars that came out of Malaysia had this package that just yellowed out. So you know what? Get this out. Breathe, baby, breathe, breathe. Look at that Chevy Lumina taxi. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, look at that. Man, and I tell you, I used to drive a Lumina Eurosport. Wow. 
four door, man, that thing, that thing has some power, man. So the 1990s, that little Euro, Euro uh, Lumina Sport, oh, man, it had a little kick to it. I like driving it. Wasn't mine, but I drove it all the time. Man. Yeah. So yeah, y'all, this hasn't seen the light of day since 1992, like 20 years ago. But here she is, looking sweet, looking good, love the wheels, man, oh man, so yeah, so I found one more, I didn't even know I had, man, didn't even know I had it, look at this, race truck series, yeah, Pro racing details, 56 flash shider. No, no label on the card, but it does say 1995 right there. You see that? Elsa, good New California, made in Malaysia. Oh shoot, my van fell off. But anyway, y'all, I I want to open this. This is gorgeous. So let's go ahead and do it. Let's do it. Oh, yeah, not a fan of the mirrored windows, but the black is on point, the decals are on point, Goodyear tires on point, I ain't even got to strip any more NASCARs to make this one right, oh man, look at that, would you look at that, would you look at that sir, that's a fine piece of American racing history right there. 56 Chevy flash tire. Good year radials. Mm. Mm. So yeah, y'all. So y'all got a treat today. Oh wait, there's one more thing. Oh shoot. Give me just a second. Alright, y'all. Sorry about that. But I did get something in the mail that I wanted to show you. I got a an envelope which is freaking awesome I love envelopes just so you know and uh, got a letter that's freaking sweet y'all guys what what's in this envelope is freaking sweet Charles hey man just want to say just wanted to uh, send you one of my channel stickers for showing me support it definitely means a lot to me I really enjoyed our chat on Instagram and you seem like a pretty nice guy Thank you, bro. Appreciate that. I think you're pretty freaking awesome yourself. I have to start another custom for you soon. <laughs> bro, uh, that, that just makes me so happy right there, just saying that. Uh, I have to start another custom for you soon uh, using some of those tips you shared with me. Oh, bro, thank you. I'm glad I could help you out. Uh, a lot of people have helped me out, man. And I'm telling you, uh, this is a great community. You got a question, please just ask and for me the easiest way is on Instagram um, I don't have a lot of time but I can check Instagram messages come through just like text you know what I'm saying uh, stay safe out there man your hot was homie strictly die cast and bro I'm super excited because I got the last sticker you're looking at the guy with the last holographic sticker that he ordered and I tell you what, we are going to put it up here on the wall. New camera stand, y'all. Different brand, but I can see the same problems happening. So, Brother Jake, like, I ain't got no nails, y'all. I ain't got no nails. All right, Brother Jake, we're going to put you right here. All right. We'll put you right there, which I think is a great place. That's freaking awesome, bro. Right next to Old Man Diecast, right next to Jay, right next to Mr. Hewitt, right next to uh, Mr. Steve and Mr. Mustangs. That's where you're going, son. you on the board. Congratulations, and thank you for the sticker. Thank you for the chat, number one. Bro, don't ever feel none of y'all. Brothers and sisters, 
we all love die cast. You got a question, you got a problem, you got something weighing heavy in your heart, reach out to me on Instagram. I will try to get back to you as soon as I can. And most of the time I'll check Instagram more than I check Facebook, more than I check YouTube. Uh, Instagram alerts me all the time. All right? So, uh, hey man, I mean, thank you so much. That sticker's freaking awesome, man. Uh, so 80s, man. Strictly diecast, my buddy Jake, right there in the house. So, before we close out this video, again, you're gonna have your choice. If you can guess my middle name, first name Charles, last name Jones, figure it out. And uh, one of these, pick out one of these three customs. Um, I'll throw in a couple extra things. I'll tell you what I'm gonna throw in. I'll go ahead and throw this in the box too. 1997 first edition, the Ford F-150. Card variation, son. Both say two or 12. First one says first edition, the other one does not. Yeah, and I'm gonna tell you the reason I'm throwing this in there because this was one of the first trucks that I tried to customize. Like, whoa, whoa. 1997 was a long time ago. I used Sharpies, was not good at it. And I actually stripped it, painted it, and I sent it to the customizer. You know, put some big ass wheels on there, look good. Yeah. So yeah, y'all. Thank you for reaching over 300. Thank you for stopping by the garage, number one, because I love talking to y'all when y'all stop by the garage. That's my favorite part of the day, when y'all stop by. And uh, yeah. When y'all stop by, we don't get a lot of work done, but you know what? Work gets done, son, in its own time. So, thank y'all for stopping by the garage. Love talking to you. Second thing, be safe. Be safe, be well, and be kind. Always be kind. And until the next time you're at the garage, I'll see you later, grease monkeys. Guess my middle name.